We have young Tom sitting on the program today. Um, I think they wanted it at a charity auction, the right to sit in. Tom, how old are you, man? Ten. Ten. All right. We're talking about role models this morning. What do you want to be when you grow up? A nuclear scientist. Nuclear scientist, okay. I think every boy's dream of ten was either to be Royce Hart or a nuclear scientist. In the background is, <laughs> is John Burns, who just makes me laugh by looking at him. Righto, you said that you could explain to us is a, a proposition called Schrodinger's Cat. Yep. Go for your life. Explain to us Schrodinger's cat. Schrodinger's cat is something explained in physics, which is basically a cat in a box with a vat of poison. Since the box is not opened, no one knows if the cat is dead or alive if it hit the vat of poison and opened it. So it can be believed as dead or a and alive. Do you want to stop you there? Mm -hmm. So we've got a box, and inside it is a cat and a bowl of poison, yep. but we can't see inside the box. No, because it's closed. Because it's closed, okay. Keep going. And uh, so that means that if you open the box, you find out. So and since no one really would want to open the box to find out, then, it, like I said before, it can be, be believed as dead or alive. And that is Schrodinger's cat? Yes. Right, so as long as you don't open the box, you don't know whether the cat is alive or dead? Yes. Okay. And uh, who was Schrodinger, do we know? Erwin Schrodinger was a scientist in the 1800s. Right, uh, do we have any idea what Schrod that, that proposition of Schrodinger's cat demonstrates, or the point that it's trying to prove? Kind of. Basically, it proves that until you try something, you don't know if you like it or not. Is that right? Yes. Schrodinger's cat. Hey? What do you think, Bernzo? Huh? <laughs> we want to see you. We want you to come back to these studios when you're a nuclear scientist, okay? Sure. So that'll be, uh, you'll be 18 when you do VCE. Yeah. Then you'll have to do four years as a science degree, about four years these, these days. 22. And then you might get uh, where we got nuclear, where we got uh, nuclear uh, Lucas Heights, is it, or uh, any number of places yes. you could be a, a nuclear <coughs> scientist in Australia or indeed overseas, eh? Mm -hmm. And come back and record something for us when you go to Stockholm to get the nuclear, the Nobel Prize for Physics, okay? Sure. Good on you, mate. Good luck with your projects, as we say around here. Schrodinger's.